Good day, this is uh, Will with Weiss Bruce Tech, uh, back on a series I'm doing here on using a couple of old Android phones uh, to uh, for um, the computers in your RV, specifically uh, to give you a rear web, ca um, a rear view camera, and uh, some other navigation and, and driving assistance. But um, if you're uh, interested in the other portions of this video, check the links below. And of course, uh, if you do uh, enjoy this video, please uh, share it anywhere you uh, feel appropriate. People that may be interested in doing the same thing. Uh, and also click the like, bl bl like button, and I would really appreciate that. Um, so uh, in this segment, we're going to be setting up this application right here, um, Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. Uh, this is a very nice uh, application. Um, has many more features than we'll be using here, um, but um, I encourage you to get the pro version. Uh, it's just a few dollars. Uh, support the development of this app, and uh, it really does a fabulous job. Um, I've had it, uh, been using it uh, for years, trouble-free uh, for this purpose. So. Um, in a previous video, I showed you how to uh, place these uh, the computers in your RV, get them set up, um, and also set up the um, the first uh, computer, which is going to be uh, one phone um, on the rear window of your RV on the inside, uh, looking out the back, and uh, it's uh, running an uh, its own Wi-Fi hotspot. So as you're driving down the road, it is the network you're connected to. Um, and uh, also it's running uh, this uh, application here, IP webcam. So it is uh, broadcasting its own webcam. Um, and that's what we're gonna hook up to. So um, first things first is uh, swipe twice on the top here and go on and get into settings and uh, check your Wi-Fi. And uh, this will show you what Wi-Fi networks are, develop are uh, available. And we've got um, my home, um, uh, Wi-Fi network right there where I'm currently connected, but I need to set up um, this camera. So I'm going to connect to um, my mobile escape pod. It's the name of our RV. Um, I'm going to set up that, uh, connect to that Wi-Fi. And there we go. I was waiting for that. Uh, we will get an, um, a warning that there's no internet access. This is a um, not a currently used phone, so my Wi-Fi hotspot um, has no internet access, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, I won't need it where I'm going. So, um, now, uh, next is uh, download and, and uh, install a Tiny Cam Monitor Pro, and I'll show you just the basic settings that you need um, to set this up. Now, the first time you run it, it'll ask you to scan for cameras and such, and it uh, I think it even will connect automatically to a, a dozen um open webcams around the world if you're if you're not careful you can get rid of all those uh, and just set up a plain generic um, camera here um, so that uh, st for your purposes so uh, of course it's going to tell you that nothing nothing's set up here so it's gonna it's gonna tell you the video has failed um, clicking on the uh, the ha little hamburger icon here the uh, for setup and go right into camera settings. Uh, you do have to set one camera up when you enter the when you open this, or uh, you know, of course, it won't let you into anything. So um, it tells me the camera is okay, which is wacky because it's not connected to anything. But um, uh, it'll automatically be enabled. Hmm, well, let's give it a nice snappy name so we know what the heck we're connecting to. And uh, I'll be nice and boring here and just call it the same thing I'm calling my network. And uh, and everything else. Ah. Now, uh, next step down here, camera brand. Um, and this is one of the reasons I was using this app for something else. And when I decided to use it for my, my, my rear camera here, I chose to use um, for my other camera, the, uh, the, the one in the back window, um, this application, IP Webcam for Android, that's the one that we already set up in the other camera. And I selected that app because there's an entry in this app. And it uh, it does a very nice job setting up uh, the connection here for you. Uh, camera model is going to be generic, of course, because uh, it could be whatever your Android phone is set up. Ah, and it automatically populated the default host name for 
IP webcam for Android, which is 192.168.1.1. If you uh, have your uh, other phone set up with its own Wi-Fi, um, it's very likely uh, app, um, going to occupy this address. It's the first address. So you, details you don't need to know. Um, uh, if it is different, um, that'll be listed on the front of the IP webcam for Android um, screen on the other phone. Um, but it sets the defaults right here, 192.168.1.1. And um, the web port number there again, 8080. <laughs> it's apparently 11 o'clock. Um, let's see, let's look at protocol. Um, if you have some higher end devices, you may be able to select that. Um, the uh, this very simple compression uh, and um, and server is very likely going to do just fine for your for these purposes here. As you go down the rest of the list, we did not set up a username or password on the uh, on our uh, camera. Uh, we don't have to worry about audio. We're not going to be using this for a security device. We don't need to set up uh, motion detection or recording or anything like that. Um, we may be coming back here to advanced settings, um, but first of all, let's see, um, we'll zip right up to the top again. It says camera status is okay, and we could actually click on that and check. And there we have a data rate, how many frames per second we're actually getting, and some other details, the resolution, which is what we set on our camera, outstanding, zero drop frames, oh, and 13 frames a second, that's uh, anything 10 to 15 is very respectable, uh, again, for using it as a remote camera. Okay, use the uh, back arrow, upper left-hand corner here, right where it says camera settings, we'll click there, and there we're looking at our screen. Now there, that is uh, just pointed out the window inside here, of course, I'm not, uh, as you can see by the weather outside, I am not <laughs> putting this in the RV right now. This is a great task to do while you're waiting for things to uh, get ready for your, your first summer trip. You can uh, troubleshoot these uh, devices and get them working uh, and then install them once things, uh, once things uh, the weather improves. So um, uh, you did notice that uh, everything is upside down and that's okay. Uh, install the camera, however convenient for uh, your power source and uh, the easiest way to get into, uh, to operate it and, um, and access it. Um, because here we can go back into our camera settings and zoom all the way down to the bottom. Flip you see is on that list. And if we'll go down the list, I'd, I like to go down slowly and see how oh, remote, okay, great, all these th things that I don't need to worry about, encryption and port forwarding, that's fine. Channel numbers, ah, now here we go to rotation. We are going to need to flip this vertically in order to get it to look right. And I'll go back and back one more time, and there we are. There's the picture out our um, window right here. Um, soon to be the outside of your RV. Um, and, uh, oh, let's see. I think I just saw a little action. Um, again, we're looking at a, a slower frame rate here, but uh, you can see the bird, this is the, the bird feeder out there swinging, and oh, and a fabulous advantage to using this Tiny Cam Monitor Pro is that a simple tap on the screen uh, will let you zoom in. Uh, so here we can see these are chickadees. These are very small birds flying around the uh, the bird feeder and um, so there you can get your by default you're looking at the main road if, if you need to see a motorcycle in the distance or something and need to use a little magnification you can zoom in pan around real quick if you needed to another quick tap and you're zoomed back out looking at the road so that you're not distracted but you can use this um, um, as a safety device uh, while you're moving down the road or certainly while you're uh, backing around uh, in a park or uh, in a parking lot. Um, boy, having this, uh, this rear cam sure is a darned handy thing. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button below because uh, it really does help me. And um, share these posts if you like to. Also uh, down below, click uh, or excuse me, uh, look for the links for the other 
portions of these setup videos. Uh, they're fairly in-depth and uh, will get you uh, set up um, uh, immediately um, with a uh, retrofit RV rear view cam 